I'll be calling you a radical TikTok. Diablo Canyon clock, 4.7 earthquake just happened in LA. Oh, that's nothing. Unless it's just the minor one warning you about the. We haven't had a mega quake in California since 1906. I'm telling you, we're so overdue. Lessons from Fukushima unlearned. About to talk about today on the anti nuclear fucking front. So, TikTok, Diablo Canyon fucking clock. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And it had well, lessons from Fukushima unlearned. Fucking proves to you. So, the fucking puppet show, which we call the presidential debate, fucking. <laughs> the fact that Donald Trump is the fucking Republican nominee is enough to blow your fucking mind, right? I mean, what the fuck? They're psycho. Well, the fucking left, they're imperialists. Nobody even speaks about the greatest subject matter on the planet, the death of the Pacific Ocean. Baby Orca washes up on, ooh, what's that smell? Oh, it's another dead well in Carmel. Oh, boy, fucking. Remember the fin back there? But Noah says it's an unusual mortality event that's already over. It ain't over. You know how many fucking wells are washed up dead this year? You know how rare it is for a finback fucking well just to see a finback? That's the third one that's washed up. A killer well, an orca baby? So let's, you know, the whole COVID did this. COVID is like everybody doesn't want to review it. They don't want to go to it because, well, it's weekly in America. It, it, it's so uncomfortable. So anything that was subject matter then... Forget the environment. Forget the crash of the ocean. By the way, where do you think COVID came from? Oh, no, you can't go there. Sucking screw tube fucking the CIA oligarchs that think they know everything don't know anything. You know, they're willing to eat their own. So orcas, the southern pod, which camps out this time of year in the mouth of Columbia, because this is the big fucking run right now on Chinook Salmon. It's been well done. Every single orca is numbered. There are so few of them. The tropical pod, they go from the Bering Sea to Hawaii. The fucking other, they go from the Bering Sea to the mouth of the Columbia this year. They don't go to fucking Monterey Bay in the summer. Sure don't go to fucking Pacific. Yay, Channel 8, San Diego, Pacific Beach, fucking California news. Isn't it wonderful, kitties? 70-year-old fucking three-year-olds. Isn't it? They have to speak like that too. This dummy down, fucking sickening, fucking populace. The selfish freaks willing to eat themselves. Oh, orcas swimming with dolphins in Monterey Bay. Orcas swimming. With, orcas are eating fucking dolphins. Eating silk. It, they're out of their domain for the first time in human history. It's the greatest subject matter in human history. The Great Pacific Genocide. So we count every, for even an orca to be born. To be born is a major story. Because there's so few of them, they're fucking crashing. They're dying. They're starving to death. So the baby fucking, they load it up, try to say, starve to death. You know, I'm the only one that was calling this a great starvation event. Fucking, we'll cut it up. We'll jot it up. We'll get on our gear and fucking, these fake fucking biologists all ought to be a fucking jail. I'm a butcher, what's a cow? I'm a fucking fisherman, what's a boat? I'm a carpenter, what's a hammer? Fuck, I'm a basketball fucking player. Uh, we were saying, who's Damian Lillard? Fucking, it's unbelievable. The water's curse. Fuck, why do you think they can't win? The house the nuclear cartel built. <laughs> Fuck, as time races forward. So, first off, the debate. David Muir. Now, let's go back. Some of you people might remember David Muir. David Muir, the moderator, the guy that was at Fukushima, Japan. Now, this all ties together. Kamala Harris, Kamala, Kamala, tomato, tomato, snow job, Snowden, fucking psycho fucking Trump. Fucking, you're talking about Fukushima Trump? Yes. Meets with a B 17 times, blocks out the fucking window. Fuck, he's a psycho. He's always been a fucking psycho. We don't know enough about her. I do. <laughs> I know lots about her. So, anyway... David Muir, the moderator, 
Remember ABC News? The guy that was boots on the ground in food, who probably did the very best reporting of anybody on the reality of Fukushima. Now, there's a video of guys crop fucking about David Bureau reporting at Fukushima. Tested 100 people, they're full of radiation. Reporting, boots on the ground. Unit 1 is fucking blown to smithereens. Unit blow this in. Unit 2 fucking on fire. Fucking. Here we go. Lake Barrett, he's got that line. Rahm Emanuel, he's got that pole. Let's head on down to our favorite fucking TEPCO Fukushima Meltdowns fishing hole. Oh, that Fuktonian's fighting good tonight. They're in two. It was Unit 1 that's in China Syndrome, which I call Delmar. It's Unit 3 that's in Delmar Argentina Syndrome. Fucking three blew, two blew up later. Not as bad. <laughs> it's in full block of meltdown. They're going to go in and try to get three grams. Three fucking grams. Now remember, they reported hydrogen blast. Fucking Arnie Gundershield. Helen Caldecott says the Chinese Japanese are tidy people. Cleaned it up. Fucking prayed it out. Fucking Kevin Camps. I'm a, I, to his face. Oh, I'm an abolition. I'm not an abolition. I mean, they prayed out these fucking people that Arnie Gundershield, fucking, who his wife was a spokesman for the nuclear energy. <laughs> fucking, you fall for it. He's the guy that reported that inside Fuki. I'll post the video. He was there. He was there reporting fucking the radiation, fucking poisoning everybody. Boots on the ground, blowing up, showing pictures. He showed fucking video pictures on ABC fucking news of Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, 4, blown to fucking smithereens. And then they parade the same news station, later parades in people says, oh, look at this, Seth Dornick fucking crew. It's all pretty. When they're all fucking, I mean, but this is the fucking fairy tale of America. This is the fucking sheep shit show. This is the lack of reality that we live in. TikTok, Diablo Canyon clock, lessons from Fukushima unlearned. We got a nuke reactor fucking on the... So, when Kevin Blatchett crew, this is important. When Kevin Blatchett crew, what's that well? It's a dead well in car mouth. Shut down, send an offering. Without Kevin Blatchett, send an offering never shuts. The nuke reactor in San Diego. TikTok. And when you get the earthquake there, and the dry cast is out of the spent fuel pools. The thing's completely decommissioned. It's on pads, getting ready to be moved up and hauled to fucking all my exes live in nuclear whip. <laughs> whip it up good. What's that? They've been hauling nuclear waste there for fucking 30, 40 years. They expanded it while you were asleep. It's triple the size, fucking including Mox fucking fuel. Fucking Yucca Mountain, I'm about go on fucking chemo. And the Patriot Act allows them to move it anytime. They move nuclear waste from San Onofre every <laughs> single week. By train, by truck, right here to the energy solutions one say. And you're so well they came up, they move nuclear waste across this fucking country all fucking day every day. Right in front of God and everybody. But you're asleep. So when we shut down Senate and Africa, the California AG was Kamala Kamala Harris. That's right. Kamala Kamala Harris's mom. The epidemiologist at Livermore Cal bringing Starbucks. Livermore, California. What, what's that? What's that? The nuclear lab. What's an epidemiologist? A cancer research PhD. Right, Rachel Carson. She's researching cancer at Livermore. Now, you know Livermore, California, the nuclear lab, bring, their logo is bringing start out. I protested out there so many times. Do you know they have a suicide epidemic there? I wonder why. <laughs> oh, they know. Livermoreium. Tennessee, California, rest in peace. Why would we keep TikTok Diablo Canyon? Fuck up? Do you know her mom, who's the cancer research PhD, got cancer. 69 years old, died. In 2009. Why would we keep TikTok Diablo Canyon clock open when we know factually California is producing 200% more solar energy a day than they can use? And you're so politically fucking caught up in fucking dogma. They've turned every... How did they turn solar energy and fucking energy into a fucking political... Oh, they did it. Fuck the windmills will give you... Can oh, fuck. Solar panel. Why would you keep Diablo Canyon take all that fucking risk and $4.4 .4 million a day in California taxpayer subsidies? 
another fucking several million a day, you federal fucking taxpayers. Billions of dollars to keep this open. Why? What? Something they don't fucking use. In fact, it takes so much fucking nuclear air electricity from the sun to keep its spent fuel pools fucking oh, cool and warm. There's That thing's a fucking ticking fucking time bomb. Don't want to live like a Chernobyl refugee. Don't want to live like a Fukushima, Japan refugee. Just the evacuation fucking uninhabitable fucking area for time and all eternity alone. Don't want to live like a Los Angeles, California. I'm telling you, they wouldn't be able to cover it up. I like that Fukushima clear over there, that fucking wagon circles. Barry Antoinette, I'll fucking bum, bummer dumber. Bring these sharp out earth. Trump, you're going to talk about... Trump met with a B-17. I was at the White House tonight. Fucking Trump fucking pulled the great upset against, well, fuck, who the fuck wanted Hillary? Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, it's Debbie Wasserman Schultz made sure she won. I thought Bernie was the guy. The only anti nurker is Bernie Sanders. Yeah. I was there that night. You should have heard it. You should, it was one of the most eerie videos to prove it. I got my Russian hat on all week in my 1916, and I'm saying, Trump God, Hillary God, Trump God, Hillary God, Trump God. I'm fucking right there. I'm right there at the peace vigil the whole fucking time for weeks leading up to the election. The Russians have occupied the White House. They will never leave. I'm saying that before the election. <laughs> Hillary pull, gets, she's got her stage set up. The upset happens. We're standing there watching. The results come in. All the media is fucking swarming on. I'm there. I'm there. Fuck, I'm on national television several times with my fucking rhetoric. Of course, they crop out my voice. <laughs> you could hear it. You see, she's going to lose. It gets eerie. Everybody's fucking clearing out. I mean, everybody. It's so quiet, you can hear the rats. I don't mean the ones, the lobbyists. I'm, I'm talking about, there's a lot of rats in D.C. It's foggy bottom. It's so eerie. We're rocking around. These two kids bring this fucking poster up. I can't even post the picture. I have pictures of this poster. They got Bernie Sanders bent over. There's a picture of Bernie twice bent over, and there's Trump and Hillary. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't put that picture up, but I have photographs of the poster, and they're chanting. It started real quiet. You know, this is 11 o'clock, midnight at night. You fucked Bernie. You f and it kind of just you fucked what few people were there, which were very. So I got on the fucking bus because all the workers, you know, DC's ninety percent African American, and that's who does all the dirty work in New York City. They take buses. You can ride those buses dirt cheap from Union, and I've rode them many times. So. I go to get on the bus about 3.30 in the morning. I'll never forget it. I get into the tube. There, Foggy Bottom. And there's a young girl. She's got her Hillary Clinton hat on. And she is sobbing. She's crying. And we're the only two on it. I'm sitting in the back. She's right at the front. And I look up. I'm on the blue line. And it's in pink. It says blue in pink. And I thought, that's when I came up with the line, James Carville, fucking pink, it fucking stinks. You fuck. So I take the bus through the middle of the night. I'm into Philadelphia, and, you know, we pass through there. People are crying on the fucking bus. So I asked this woman, what about Feingold in Wisconsin? You know, because I'd help work on his campaign because he's an anti-nuker. He was up by seven, eight po points. No, he lost. Lost? What? What are you talking about? Lost by seven? Wow, I could fucking believe it. And so we get to New York City. Right as the sun's going, right at the Jarvik Center. Right there where she was going to break the glass scene. And nobody wanted Hillary Clinton to be president. Nobody. That's the only reason Trump fucking won. <laughs> Democrats didn't go vote. That's what this is. People are so incredibly fucking branded. When these debates you listen to, they're speaking to a couple hundred thousand fucking Hibbley fucking rednecks in fucking Ohio and fucking, well, not even Ohio anymore, Pennsylvania. I mean, the entire thing. I mean, the whole electoral college is such a fucking scam and fucking sham. It's ridiculous. And the fucking media, I mean, the whole fucking fairy tale of America, the way it's evolved, it's a fucking clown. It's a fucking joke. Fucking don't drink the fucking water. 
It's ridiculous because that's the fabric of their population. It's so selfish, so comfortable. They think the zenith of life. They don't give a fuck about their neighbor. They don't give a fuck about their fucking old family. They don't give a fuck about themselves. They've lost all their self-confidence. How do they do it? One by jet stream, two by cable TV. So I get there. So I walk over to Fifth Avenue. My daughter works over there. And I walk over. It's a fucking war zone. I never seen such a fucking war zone. It's unbelievable. Fuck, you should have seen. Fuck it. All day there. I'm there. Fuck these giant fucking fire protests. It was fucking like a giant riot. Hell, I mean, it was fucking insane. And, I, and trust me, Kevin Blanche, the activist, the shit I've seen. Uh, rallies a different fucking pro oh, Ooh, I could write fucking hundred books just on fucking that alone. And then I get word somebody calls me and says I was using an iPad in those days, and it was about well, it was dead by then. In order to charge it, I had to get over to the New York fucking library. What a library! And so I get a call. It's being reported. A bee is flying in immediately. Well, you know why a bee. A bee was not the prime minister of Japan. Go ask David Muir. He knows. He was there. Ask Anderson Vanderbilt Cooper and Sanjay Gupta, who were also there, CNN. Nuclear meltdowns, nuclear meltdowns, nuclear meltdowns. The wind shifts and blows back over Tokyo. The first six days it blew over us when Barack Obama told the second greatest lie in human history. The plume is coming over us right now. Scientists tell it is safe. No need to take precautions. When he fooled well knew. It's equivalent to fucking the third greatest lie. Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass. When Colin Powell full well knew he was lying. But they're willing to fucking lie for what? For their political aspirations? For their... Well, kills fucking... Political, I mean, Colin Powell died of multiple enemies. What's that? The hallmark of fucking nuclear fallout. So do... Rumsfeld. <laughs> I mean, they think they're above it. This is the egotistical fucking nature of the I'm a drunk on ignorance and proud of it. They know it all. They learn it on the internet. They don't know shit. So, he comes in. I'm like, what the fuck? That's all the Fukushima cover. So, as soon as he gets inaugurated, they meet at mar a -Lago, Block out the fucking windows. Remember that? Remember that? For days with Bob Crafted. Oh, fuck. I fuck. The more I learn about Bob Kraft, the more I think the fucking Patriots probably did fix it. There's reports coming out all over, and then the rumors that MIT had an intercept type of thing where they could, you know, they, they talk in the quarterback's helmet from the booth and the thing, and that they were intercepting it. You know, the defensive calls, they do it on the defense. So, great. I mean, the more I know about Bob Kraft, the more I think that they were all fucking great. Inflate gate. <laughs> Remember that? Remember Spygate? John Madden was all over it. Remember they snuck in and spied on the fucking Rams, scripted play. They knew what the plays were. It's unbelievable. He meets with the beat, block it, and what do you think? They high five. What do you think they're talking about? The fucking golf game? Trump's no fucking idiot. Well, he's gonzo now, but fuck. Remember when he used to stand at the towers? I was in New York all those years. Fucking after 9 11. Fucking. The hole was just there for years. He would do those fucking rallies, just go off on the Saudis. Just rip the fucking Saudis. Go over, and then he gets fucking, becomes president, gets right in bed with the fucking Saudis. What do they do? Threaten these guys? Obviously. Kamala Harris fucking took on Senator Aubrey fiercely. She raided PB, the California president, raided his house. Went into his house with the California Alabama and fucking found the goods that they were chopping up. And Kevin Lash is the one feeding her. I'm feeding the California AGs at on a silver platter from the bone marrow transplant center. They, because I knew the people that worked there, the ones that were leaking to me, they're still in secret. I'm in the bone marrow transplant center, dying of cancer with the center line, so I had some political cover. So they're leaking it out to me. That Kevin, they're, this is before, you know, they're, they're cheating on the exchange. It was time to switch out the fucking generator. They're cheating from a Hitachi to a Mitsubishi and saving themselves a hundred million dollars. They brought it in by ship. It's on Marine property. My dad, the Semper Fi fucking Marine who fucking was nuked to death. Fucking, I was literally conceived on that beach of Sinanoff. I've been fighting that fucking thing from day one. Those guys all know me. They were leaking it to me and fucking I'm reporting it and sending it to the California AG's office. That's exactly how it got shut down. And she goes after them. They're going to put them all on you. 
Governor Brown's name's on there. They're all getting a piece of the fucking pie. It's one of the greatest shams in fucking human. So they had a steam out accident. That was the one. I'm in the bone marrow transplant the sickest day I was. But going in and out of a fucking coma. Fucking in January of 2012. That's when they had the so-called steam malfunction. Steam malfunction. They were Jerry rigging it. Jerry Brown rigging the fucking reactor to get fixed. Duct tape water. Those videos got leaked out. Mitch from Channel 10. Fuck. Who do you think leaked all that shit? To the California AG. Kamala, Kamala Harris. Her mother, the epidemiologist at Livermore. The cancer research PhD. Bringing Siren at the new... Donald Trump's uncle, John Trump. MIT. The guy that went into Tesla's room when Tesla, Tesla died in New York City and examined it in his shit. Look it up. John Trump, the MIT radiator. Whoa, whoa, now you're starting to connect the fucking dots. All roads lead to the nuclear energy crime fucking syndicate. David Muir, the moderator in Fukushima. Sanjay Gupta and Anderson Vanderbilt. Up. Mel, that's Mel, that was Mel. Then they come home to CNN, never mentioned it a fucking game. He probably did the best reporting on mainstream media of anybody. It was him. Ah, Fukushima. There's a video out there somebody's put out. I'll tag it. All the evidence is right there. It's just like the 180 times the fucking season 137 in the fucking rockfish. In 20 fucking 12 in Pacific Beach, California. I'm reporting it. You won't listen to me. It's like I've come to the conclusion the fucking sheep don't want the fucking truth. They can't handle it because they're too fucking weak. They're degenerate. TikTok, Diablo Canyon, 4.7 fucking earthquake. Dead fucking orca washes up. You know how fucking radical that is? Now listen to me. All you fake marine biologists, let me do your fucking work. The greatest marine biologist probably in history, Kevin. Hart. Dead type was at your feet. This is the greatest ecological collapse to a fucking... Gray wells and humpback wells and orcas in the summertime should never be in Carmen. Should never be in Monterey Bay. Should never be in San Francisco. Ever, ever. They're plankton feeders, the grays and the humpbacks. Of course, the orcas eat fucking Chinook salmon as their mainstay. They've left their domain for the first time in human history. Yay, isn't it wonderful they're having a lunch? Isn't this great? The fucking southern pod of fucking orcas and or the tropical fucking pod, which are fucking, they're on the verge of extinction, are in San Francisco Bay in the summer, eating full blown out fucking hot oh, wings. We will pretend to. The F 35 conference is here this year. We, people from all over there, you do know that China already has one. Remember they did bilateral coalition on the F 35s? Japan, a Japanese pilot fucking stole one and flew it into fucking China. And you've been had thinking that's what we got to life, live, liberty, fucking the military industrialized fucking war pigs. There should never be orcas in San Francisco in the summer. They're plank. Well, they're meat eaters. That's why they're called killer. Was plank free willy. Well, you know, when they free willy, you just kept on swimming. He died. Yeah. Baby orca fucking dead. Ooh, what's that smell? All that work I've done in Carmel. Fuck, that's my favorite fucking beach. Fucking, I mean, I've, I I know the California coast like that. I've walked it fucking multiple times. You know, the marine biologists in the high desert of Utah. Fuck. All my tide pool work alone is me on my Nobel Prize. But you can ignore me. Their answers to kettle me. Do fuck go after me. Fucking to hide me in the research library. Fucking, well, the CEO of YouTube. She just got cancer at 56, 50 years old. Lung cancer out of nowhere. I mean, all these people. I mean, don't you see this is the great equalizer? TikTok, why would you keep fucking Diablo Canyon fucking open? <laughs> California, it's a no-brainer. Solar energy in Utah, but they charge us $16,000. Put solar panels on your fucking house. Why? Because Warren Buffett, who stole the Weber State score business, the number one school business in the country that I ran the show, stole it, owns Rocky Mountain Power. Yes, he owns it. And his best friend, Bill Gates, are going to put a jackalope factory and SMRs that don't even exist because they get all the money up front. They don't have to pay it back. That fucking sham at Diablo Canyon, TikTok, when the earthquake happens at San Diego, yes, San Onofre's in North County on the Orange County line. 
When they opened the fucking, they had the accident and sent an offer in June 23. Fucking accident. <laughs> that wasn't an accident. That's malice. It backed up into the court. Last option. Custer's last stand. You have to open the valve. It's radioactive. And they spewed radioactive all over San Francisco. That's a fact. Jack, you would never even know about that with Kevin Lynch. And Kamala Harris was the AG. I leaked it all to her. Her mother, the epidemiologist Livermore, just passed away from cancer. The cancer research PhD at the nuclear lab. Hell, hell, hell. Her dad didn't raise her. She did. Bring each star power to Earth. Well, we have the sun can give you cancer from 93 million miles away. We have three sons that are at least three burrowed into the fucking Pacific Ocean with David Muir fucking reported it fucking live on the ground in March of 2011. That's where he cut his eye teeth. He's in upstate New York. I think he's an Ithaca guy. Fucking the old beatniks. Maybe that's where Kurt Vonnegut went to college, right? Yeah. Yeah, Slaughterhouse 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. He reported it. I'll post the link. The evidence is right there in your fucking face. The great, I did the type of work. First you hypothesize the knowledge, then you fuck. <laughs> oh my God. Orcas in fucking Carmel in the summer. Humpbacks, grays, they live in the Bering Sea. Humpbacks and grays are krill. Plankton feeders. Kevin Lynch, this these three sons are going to boil the fuck thing. It's going to break the fucking ecosystem. Everything I find is going to cause the heat bubble. It's going to get into the trees and cause these fucking... Si these fire epidemics is unexplainable. They'll tell you, fire guys. How can they simultaneously spark... They thought it was arsonists. And by the way, the, we had smoke so radically here yesterday that are fires from Nevada, Utah, and Idaho. Desert fires. The desert is burning radically. So, all you Trumpers, Trump says you need to go fucking rake up your desert. I mean... Fuck. I don't know which is worse, fucking the left or the fucking right. The left's become these imperialists. You know? Debbie Washington Schultz, ask her who won 2016 DNC. What the fuck? And they ignore the environment, they ignore the economy, and they speak fucking to these dummy down fucking Pennsylvania fucking rednecks. Fuck, what's the matter with you people in fucking Pennsylvania? You gotta be talked to like that? You don't give a fuck. Uh, now they're all pro fracking. Pro, pro fracking? What the fuck are you talking about? Fuck, the tone of field into fucking Dakotas is enough fucking natural gas to fucking heat the entire fucking world for fucking 50 years. But, I mean, but the way the electoral college is fucking set up and the way the dogma fucking people, it's like a football game. Yeah, I've been a Cowboys fan. I really love fucking Roger Staubach when I was a kid. I'm a Rams fan. I like fucking... Roman Gabriel, yeah, yeah, I really fucking, I love them dolphins, fucking, go dolphins, fuck, except the real dolphins. <laughs> it's pitiful. So you're branded by a helmet? You root for a fucking logo? That's what politics are. Red pill. <laughs> give me political dogma or give me death. Political dogma is fucking death. Don't you see it's the ecology, stupid? Fucking James Carville, pink as shit, that fucking, who destroyed the, remember when the Democrats were the fucking party of the environment? The party of labor? The party of fucking, remember that? Remember that? Who destroyed that? James Carville, his pink and fucking, <laughs> Axelrod? Rahm Emanuel, the best. I got that line. Lake Barrett, running the clean, Lake Barrett, it's Yalta by the sea. The only thing Barry Antoinette ever said fucking true. These treaties were signed long before I was born. Obama told the second greatest lie in human history. When his aide, Cheryl Mills, at the exact same time, was sending out fucking emails in through the beltway, left, right. They got leaked by WikiLeaks. The plume is coming over us right now. It's radioactive. Don't go outside. If you have that, take a shower. Wash your fucking clothes. Take some iodine tablets. Barack Obama full fucking well knew there was radioactive. Never mind. I'll keep the American public in the know. I will keep you in the know what I know. And he's flown to Argentina. Do you know he never said it again until right before he fucking left office on Jimmy Kimball? And Jimmy Kimball says, you ever get calls at 4 o'clock in the fucking morning? Like Hillary's fucking attack ads? 
course I did. I'm president of the United States. Do you got any examples, Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. Like when Fukushima happened. Jimmy Kimmel, where's Don fucking Johnny Carson when you need him? Where's Don Rickles when you fucking need him? Where's Lenny Bruce when you fucking need him? Where's the great George Carlin? George Carlin, oh, once he died in twelve. You think he'd been all over Fukushima? I think so. What? Fukushima. Barack Obama and Jimmy Kimmel, right before fucking Trump, got the big upset. You know the typhoon. Now remember, I will keep you. Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. Oh, well, they like life, liberty, liberty. Let's go off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. Went up to Iraq and Dick Cheney, Paul Wolfowitz, and Bremer. Big old fuck. What a fucking sham offering. What a fucking scam. They fool. What's the greatest lie in human history? Nuclear energy. Albert Einstein said that. Kevin Lynch. Hell of a way to boil a planet. You won't listen to Einstein. Your grandson Einstein, but you won't listen. He said that nuclear energy is the most dangerous, fucked up, stupidest thing fucking on the planet. And if you ever have a full core meltdown and this genie gets that, never happened to Santa. There's a reason the 780,000 men, doc, doc, were conscripted. Let's go. And they entombed Chernobyl in a mining operation. Oh, China syndrome is very real. Unit one and unit three. They're not even going in unit one, three. They're going in unit two. I got that line, Lake Barrett. The guy who covered up fucking three mile line. What would it be? He's running the cover of a movie. Uh, Leslie Stahl at the Lake Barrett. Well, this is like going to the moon. Way bigger than that. This has never happened before. They entombed it. What did they do here? They sent in 30 fucking two ships. Including the USS Reagan and radiated their own fucking man. All that work I did on that trial goes all the way to the United, the United States Supreme Court rejects it. Yeah, of course they did. It's a fucking puppet show. What the fuck has happened in this country? Political dogma. One of my gesturing, two of my fucking cable. Operation Foxconn fucking news. Fuck. CNN. Credibility not needed. Fuck it. And then you got the YouTubers and the vloggers and the vloggers. Fuck. Well, they nuance them in an AdSense account. We'll promote you if you talk fucking radio goo goo, radio gaga. But if you talk anything that really matters, we're going to squash you. Then fuck. What are the three branches of government in this country? CIA, NSA, fucking CFR. Ask Edward Snowjob, that fucking con man. Paid to fucking kill Anonymous? Fuck, no doubt in my mind. He's flying to Ecuador. Fucking Julian Song leaks it all out. It's all fucking there right in front of God. But you can't handle the truth. You don't want the fucking truth. Give me political dogma or give me death. Well, political dogma is death. Fucking starving to death, fucking baby fucking orca. <laughs> They're all starving. I'm the only one that was using the starving. I'm doing the fucking greatest PhD in here. Dead typos at your feet. I proved it. I don't do opinion. I fucking lived in a bone marrow transplant center for five fucking years. Dying of fucking cancer. At this time, I'm in critical condition. My chest split open. Fucking pour me out. Pop, pop, oh, oppy drop. They never fucking stop. Fucking grays and humpbacks in San Francisco Bay. Who's crying now? And, and, and that, I mean, will in the sky on Balco on fucking chemo. Fucking unbelievable. What a fucking journey. Unbelievable. Fucking go ask Alice when you're 10 feet under. Do, 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 knocking at my back door. Just got back from Illinois. Locked the front door open. Huh. I ain't no fucking senator, son. It's unbelievable. Look, here's Metallica got the fucking tire fucking field playing with the same. Talk about it all. But they're not about to speak it. They all live in the Bay, all these fucking artists, these fucking China, but they're above it all, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, you're above it all. Fucking your health, your wealth, your fucking fame. Your fame's going to trump cancer. That blanch, your fucking anti nuclearism. That fucking work of yours is old fashioned. You're fucking, I remember in 2010 when I was in, a, I mean, the activist going on. I remember this woman came to me and she says, well, activism is old fashioned. Okay. Boy, did it take off. Million Mass March, Kevin Blanchett, Bennett. Huh. I'll tell you what's old fashioned to all of you. That fucking anti-nuclearism is old fashioned to you. So is cancer. Ooh, what's that smell, honey? I don't like it. I uh, call that fucking city, have them throw it, cut it up in ten. It's a, it's a dead well. Remember me right up there doing the type of work and fucking right there, right where he washed up dead. And I found that one single bath store. And I walked up to the market and that guy feeding his fucking 
dog steak, and I videoed it. Charlie and Mimi, when the fuck kid that worked in there told him that's against the law. I mean, those big trees out there on the fucking bridge at fucking the Lost Coast there at Bixby. Gone. I mean, this great acute radical catastrophe, ecologically the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. Well, humans, longevity is headed south. It was headed north till 2012. Just another coincidence, bro. I don't do coincidence. So I'll post his link, David Muir, when he was there. That's him. That's him. That's where he cut his eye teeth. Huh. Kamala Kamala's mother, the epidemiologist of Livermore. I fed her all that stuff at him. She went after him. Peavy told me and others to go fuck ourselves in public security. That's the California Public Commission chair. Then she runs for the United States Senate and hands it off to the new AG. Of course, she hasn't mentioned Fukushima since. They run Barbara Boxer. She sure did. They run her out. What do these guys get to talk to? Obviously. The Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate. But guess what? The Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate. It kills them too. They're going to eat themselves. It's the greatest sequel. Of dead type of 55 million people a fucking day on any given day in California, driving up and down the five, and they can't even look down at the typhoons. I'll get back to the typhoon. It's been a tough year for typhoons. We had upper surge in that great buck moon in July when I always get it. There's only a few times a year you get down in those fucking typhoons, and you have to know where they're at. That's historic work, and it happens quick, and you have to go across it like a bird. Oh, do I. TikTok, Diablo Canyon Club. We haven't had a mega quake since night. We're going to get one. And Diablo Fukushima. Lessons from Fukushima unlearned. I thought when I documented all this historic radical, we don't do opinion. Miss scientists are mystified, baffled, stumped, curious, alarmed, bewildered. I don't do that. I'm a biologist. I prove it. Why do you think I'm so blackballed? Why do you think they're so afraid of me? <laughs> yeah. Well, get typos at your feet. You keep ignoring my work. Go ahead. Your own fucking peril. Remember, I was given two months to live in 2011. The fact that I go into a bone marrow trance on 11, 11, 11, you can't make this shit up. Given two months to live with AML de nouveau, multiple myeloma, with a marker unsurvivable. The fact that I survived it without a bone marrow transplant, walked the entire coast of California in a sleep bag, dying out there with the seals as they're starving to death. The sea lions, I documented all this great starvation as it happened in real time. See no nuclear energy, speak no nuclear energy, hear no nuclear the nuclear energy emperors have no fucking clothes. Because the weakling, coward America, fucking, it's too uncomfortable for them. And they're all into the zenith of life is comfortability, when actually the fucking comfortability is a death sentence. They've lost their humanity, they've lost their soul. Their, their fucking life experience is so low now, and they don't even know. They have no Mission accomplished. TikTok. Diablo Canyon clock. The crash of the Pacific. The great Pacific genocide. Stay in tuned.